Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shanique and I thought this week we could do something a little bit different than my usual content and I thought we could do a read with me for a week as someone who works a full-time job, nine to five, I do work from home, but someone who works a full-time job, someone who's also trying to do content creation and is editing all week and is fairly busy, I just wanted to see how much I actually read during the week, especially since I got my Kindle. I feel like I've been reading so much more and sometimes it feels like I almost have like a second full-time job with the amount of hours that I spend reading, so I just thought it'd be a fun thing to try to see how much I actually read, how many pages I read, how many books I read, and then also how many hours I read. Besides Goodreads, I have the app called Bookmori, I think is how it's pronounced. I can show you guys the app. This, this is the app, and on it, it has the option to time yourself when you read, which I usually do, but I never really go back and see how much I read during a week. I'll see how, like, how long it took me to read a book, but never, never how much I've actually read. So I thought it would just be a really fun thing to just, just track it all and see how much I really read, especially with the different kinds of books. I'm very much a mood reader, and I just finished book seven of the Zodiac Academy series, which completely shattered my heart into a million tiny little pieces. And so I've been taking a break and reading some more like happy, quick little romance books to just get me back into the mindset of Zodiac. So with the different kinds of books that I, I've been reading, I just wanted, I just thought it'd be cool to see how, how much I read and how many books I can get done with. So like I said, I just finished the book seven of Zodiac Academy. I finished it, I wanna say last Thursday, and then I jumped into Wild Love um, by Elsie Silver, and that was my first Elsie Silver book that I have ever read, and I fully loved it. I ate that book up and finished it in like two days. And now I'm reading Wild Eyes. I just started this one last night, and I'm already 41% through the book, page 166. So I have been eating it up. I started it at like 9 p.m. last night and I have not read it all today. Um, and I've already 41% done with this book. So it's such a quick, easy read. It's super lighthearted. If you haven't read the series, it's a cute like small town romance books. Um, book one focused on Ford um, and his girlfriend Rose, Rosie, Rose, Rosie? The way that I forget books the moment I put them down. Please tell me I'm not the only one, but it was a really cute read. And now I'm a book two, which um, is about West and Skylar. And West is the brother of the FMC from book one. Um, so I love these like interconnected romances where like you see the different characters on different books. And so far I love it. I love the banter in this book so far. I love that West is like, helping our FMC kind of get out of her head and like figure out who she really is as a person and it's just it's just a cute little lighthearted romance read so I've been eating it up I am 41% done with the book I'm about to go and film some content for another video I'm doing a fall shopping with me video and by the time you guys watch this one this that one will already be up so go back and watch it but I'm gonna go do that right now so I'll be gone from the house for a couple hours and like I said I haven't picked up this book at all today so we'll see when I get home how many pages I'll end up reading and how long I end up reading for but yeah this should be a really fun one and if you guys have any book suggestions please drop them below I love a romantic book I love a cutesy romance book full of banter i love books that make me cry at the end um so if you have any recommendations please let me know and i'll add that to my tbr i have way too long of a list of a tbr so i'm sure eventually i'll get to it i'm such a mood reader though so please let me know what books you suggest and i will add them to my tbr is about to leave me. Getting a little late for her. She's been sitting here this whole time though. Alright, one thing I'm loving about this book is how much fun it actually is. I feel like I'm over here giggling and like kicking my feet because of how cute it is and it's like genuinely funny. I feel like there's a lot of books out there that the authors try to be funny and it just doesn't land. But this one is just so cute and 
I just love it. It's such a lighthearted read, so if you've been reading something super heavy, I highly, highly recommend reading this book next just to get you out of it. I also am really hoping that the next book in this series, whenever it comes out, is about Reese and Tavi because they might be some of my favorite characters so far. Like, I love them, but can someone explain to me why so many romance novels have a male character named Reese in it? Like, Akatar, the Twisted series, like, now this book, why, why is that such a common name? Because I've never heard that name out in the real world. So why do all these authors pick that name? Please let me know, but I'm gonna keep reading. It's only 10.40 p.m., so I, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna see how long I can stay up tonight. I'm not tired at all, so I feel like I can get through a pretty big chunk of this book. I'm on page 194 right now out of 407, so I feel like I can probably make it to maybe 80% of the book. I'm at 48% right now. But also, if I make it that far and it's not that many pages left because it is just like such a short, quick read, I might, might try to finish her out tonight, but we'll see. I'll give you guys an update when I am actually done for the night. Sorry if you can hear my cat purring on the side, but I grossly underestimated how much I could read tonight. It is already 12, 11 a.m. and I am so tired. I'm not gonna lie, I've been scrolling on TikTok for a little bit too, but I read a total of one hour and eight minutes today between now and earlier at the coffee shop and read a total of, let's see, 73 pages today, which seems a bit low for me, I'm not gonna lie, but that's okay. We did what we could. Um, I'm gonna go to bed and then we'll see how much reading I can get up to tomorrow. I am determined though to finish this book by tomorrow. So I'm on page 239 of 407. I have 168 pages left for tomorrow, which honestly does not seem that bad. I've been reading this pretty quickly, I would say, and I don't have any plans for tomorrow night. So probably the moment I finish working, I'll start reading again. So but for now, I'll say goodnight to you guys and I will see you in the morning. Hello guys. It is the next day. It is 6 30 right now and I finished work about an hour ago and I have not read at all today and have not even picked up my Kindle. I was planning on reading during my like lunch hour today but I ended up having to edit my YouTube video for today and then I finished editing it after work and posting it so I finally now have time to start reading. I think I'm gonna eat some dinner first before I fully get into this book but the plan is to finish it today. All the people out there though with gamer boyfriend husbands girlfriends will understand this but my husband's upstairs he is in full game mode he has like a game with a bunch of his friends tonight that is like planned and he's gonna be doing that for probably like three or four hours which is plenty of time to finish this bad boy so I'm gonna eat some dinner get into this and then I will let you guys know my thoughts on this book at the end Fingers crossed that I actually finished it tonight. I am like fully, 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 fully determined to finish this tonight because I think I'm ready to move on from cutesy romances. We'll see how I feel in the morning after I finish this, but as much as I love it, I think I'm ready to move on and go a little bit into something darker or, I don't know, maybe a little fantasy, but we'll see. I've only been out here for, I don't know if you can see that, but it's only been like eight minutes. And the amount of bugs that I feel like have crawled on me, it's just not great for me. I was trying to be an outdoorsy person. This is just not, not the life I'm meant to be living. So we're gonna go back inside. Timer is back up. Let's get to reading. Absolutely love her. Absolutely love Skyler because small spoilers, probably for the rest of this video, if you don't want them. But there's a scene in here where it's like an auction for charity, and Wes is getting auctioned off, and his ex situationship breaks the record on how much 
money gets put down for him. And Skylar straight up at first was like, oh, I'm not gonna bet on him, I'm not jealous. And mind you, the record was $1,000. She puts down $10,000 and like, I mean, if you're rich, like, yes, that is something that my brain says I would do if I had that kind of money. I love her. I love her. That That is just queen behavior. This just went from, you spent $10,000 on me at an auction, I'm making a fool of myself and might run away to pure smut. It was like the middle of a sentence. Just, just right there. No, no, uh, just really said here. And I mean, I'm gonna read that. <laughs> you know, this might have been a little bit predictable, but I'm okay with it because the way that these last few chapters have been written are actually so good. All right, it is 10.08 and I just finished the book. I read 168 pages today for a total of two hours and 15 minutes. And I gave this book a four, 4.5, just because it wasn't one of those like, oh my God, if I didn't read this book, like my life wouldn't be what it is. You know, like it didn't change my life, but it was still really good. It was a super sweet, small town romance. The ending is so sweet. Again, possible spoilers ahead for those who do not want spoilers on this book. I know it just came out, but obviously they end up together and Skylar learned what she wants for herself. She learned how to stand up for herself. She moved to Rose Hill, of course. And like, it's just so cute. Like the little family ends up together and it was an adorable read. It was definitely the kind of book that I needed to get me away from the heartbreak that the Zodiac Academy book seven gave me. I am kind of not tired. So I don't know if I wanna read another book, if I wanna start one or if I just wanna wait until the morning. If I were to start one though, I don't know what I would start. I could go straight into Zodiac Academy book eight or I could read something else. I do have a couple of books, maybe like 10 books, on my physical TBR upstairs. Some of them though I don't wanna start yet because they're series and I don't wanna jump into another series just yet. But we also have a ton of options on Kindle Unlimited and I don't know, I don't know what I want. I don't know if I wanna start one right now or if I should just wait until the morning. But the new Lauren Asher in the Dirty Air series came out and I have to read that one. There's also Love on Written on Kindle Unlimited that I have to read. So many books, not enough time to pick. I don't know. I'm gonna sit for a while and just scroll on my phone, do a little TikTok break, and then I'll decide when I wanna do it. Good morning, you guys. It is time for us to pick our next book, and I think we're gonna pick one off of our physical TBR because some of these books down here have been on my shelf for well over a year and they're not on Kindle Unlimited and if I don't start picking books off of the shelf, they will never get read, so. So I haven't read anything from Born of Blood and Ash on. I just got Daydream and a novel love story, but I think I'm in the mood for something a little bit spookier, not just a romance novel. I'm not ready to go back to Zodiac yet, so, but I do wanna get into the fall spooky vibes. There really isn't anything that's too spooky besides like maybe Born of Blood and Ash, Powerless, and maybe We Were Liars. I actually have no idea what this book is about. I just picked it up because it was on a buy to get the third book free, but it literally tells you no information in the back. It just says if anyone asks you how it ends, just lie. So it's definitely giving mystery vibes. She's a short one too. It looks like it's only 250 pages and the writing is pretty big on it. And there's a ton of spacing. So I feel like this one would be a quick one to read. And it's like split up into parts. So maybe we'll read this one next.
I just finished part one of this book. I'm on page 47. And honestly, I'm just confused. It's almost putting me into a little bit of a reading slump. Like I should be further into this book by now, being that I started reading a while ago, but I keep putting it down and I'm just like, I don't know, it's not interesting. I'm confused on what the book is supposed to be. And maybe just because it's in parts, it just, just hasn't gotten to it yet. But yeah, I am not understanding what the plot is. If there's a plot, I don't really care for any of the characters. We just started like really getting to know one of the characters and I don't know, it's just, I'm just confused and I don't really see the point of it. Hopefully the next part gets a little bit more interesting and it picks up. This is a much longer part from what I can tell. Um, so hopefully it starts to pick up here. I also don't love that it doesn't really have chapters. It just kind of like goes into the next chapter in the middle of a page which i mean that's just me being nitpicky but i don't love it the good thing is that they are all really short chapters it's like two to three pages each one so you get through that quickly but i'm not loving it I am this far into the book. I'm on page 131. And now I can confidently say that I do not care about these characters. I do not care about this plot. I'm not even really sure what the plot is. All I know is this girl, Katie, got into some sort of accident, which may not have been an accident. Who knows? She hit her head and she doesn't remember anything. And it's been like two years since that happened and now she's back. And like, that's all I know. All I know is her grandpa's crazy. Her mom's overbearing. This guy, Gat, that she, Gate, Gat, I don't even know if that's how you say his name, but this guy that she likes, didn't talk to her for two years, now he's talking to her again, but that's it. There's like nothing else happening, I don't know. This right now is reading like a solid one star. The thing is, one, I don't like DNFing books, even though there's so many books to be read in this world that like we shouldn't be reading books we don't like, but I just feel bad. I'm also already on page 131 out of 250, so there's only 120 pages left. And it has only taken me an hour and 41 minutes to get this far into the book. So another like hour or so, or a little under two hours and I'll be done. But it's just so boring. Like why? And I remember people talking about this book on Book Talk and saying it was a good book. So that's also what's kind of keeping me going right now is that I'm like, maybe it'll change up at some point but also i'm over 100 pages in and i still could not care less about it but then if i put it as a dnf on my goodreads it's not going to count towards my reading goal for this year so i might just i might just finish it but i don't think i'll get it done today because the vmas are starting in like 30 minutes and taylor swift is up for some awards and i will be watching so it's also just putting me to sleep like i had to come down here and sit on this chair with like no backing and lights on for me to keep reading it because i was in a comfy spot and this book is so boring that i was just ready for bed and i was so ready to just fall asleep if this is one of your favorite books please tell me what you liked about it or tell me if you felt the same throughout the beginning of the book and it has a good ending because it's just not doing it for me i finished it um, i actually stayed up last night a little bit and read some more and then finished it this morning so yesterday my total was two hours and 19 minutes and i read 186 pages of this book did it get better meh i think it started to pick up a little bit around part four which is roughly like 75 percent through the book which by that point, I just did not care about these characters. I did not care about the plot. I didn't care about this book. I was over at that point. It got a little bit better, like I said, when she started remembering what happened to her, but it just wasn't great. I will say, I didn't see the twist coming, which is hard for an author to do because I see the twist coming so far ahead. I mean, when I read Akatar, I knew Tamlin was like not good in book one, like page 10. So. I'll give them props for that. I didn't see the twist coming, but even with being surprised by what truly happened, I didn't care. I, like I said, I didn't feel any connection to these characters one bit. So I read it and I was like, should I feel sad? Should I feel empathy? I, I just did not care. I also did not like the writing style. It was very short, choppy sentences. It reminded me a lot about Girl in Pieces and that style of writing, which that is another book that I read last year and did not care for. But if you like that book, maybe this one is for you. I don't think this is my style of writing. I don't think 
it's my kind of story. I will not be reading the prequel. I'm glad I did not buy the prequel because I would feel like I had to read it if I had it, but it just wasn't great. With that being said, I've avoided it long enough and I think it's time. I think it's time we get into book eight of Zodiac Academy. I am terrified. Book seven left me weeping at the end and my sister is also reading the series. I don't know if I've already said that, but She's on book nine, and she told me that it only gets worse from here. <laughs> so I am, I am terrified. So this book says it is 1,244 pages. Kendo says it should take me about 24 hours and 54 minutes to read this, so I don't know if I'll be done with this by the time this video ends. Today's only Thursday, so I, Thursday to Sunday. Uh, if I really commit to it, I might, but I will still give you guys my updates as I read them because it hurts. It already hurts, like, with page one. You guys, I'm not gonna lie, it is already 6.11 and I have not read a single page of this book because I am terrified that it's gonna break my heart. <sighs> I have to rip off the bandage though, so we're gonna start her, but I am so afraid. This is what I've been afraid of since last week when I finished book seven, but I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Can I also just note that the name of this book is Sorrow and Starlight? It's like they know I'm gonna cry and they're okay with it. And that's just rude. Gotta go in. Turning the timer on, good to go. Hello guys, I did not update you guys on reading last night because I finished around midnight. Um, so I was just really tired and I had to wake up early this morning. But to give you guys an update, I did start Zodiac. It's not as scary as I thought it would be. Everyone is still very much in the trenches, so we're not at a happy spot just yet, but it's fine. I did read though two hours and 45 minutes of Zodiac. I read the first 159 pages, which makes my total for yesterday three hours and 32 minutes with a total of 223 pages. Honestly, a pretty good amount being that I ended up putting this off until very late at night. Hopefully today we get through more of it. We have a different background to read and we're at a Disney hotel. So the vibes are right and I will let you guys know how I'm feeling. The next chapter is from our main villain's point of view, which I always hate reading his chapters because they annoy me so bad, but we'll see. <laughs> and the timer is on. Okay, it's been two seconds, page one, already my favorite page I've read. Because like I said, it's from our villain's point of view and spoilers ahead, but in the last chapter, at the end of the last chapter, they basically burned down his house. So he just showed up to see it and the satisfaction that seeing, of seeing this man hurting really is just beautiful. I was having such a fun time reading and then I had to stop because it got to a point where they were like, we can summon them. And I was like, uh, it gave me so much anxiety. So I had to put it down to get into the right mindset for it. <laughs> Hello, you guys. I have been so bad with my reading the last two days. Yesterday, I only finished, I don't even know how many pages, but I only read for like 44 minutes yesterday. So not very many pages. And today I have not picked up my book at all. And it's already seven o'clock. In my defense though, today ended up being a much busier day than I expected. It just, the day got away from me. But finally, I'm gonna get into it. My hope for today is to read for at least two hours, um, which I think we can do. I don't have anything else to do for the rest of the day, pretty much. And this book keeps me entertained enough that I don't see a reason why it wouldn't. Goal is to read for two hours, get at least 100 more pages into this book. I very much underestimated how long this book was. I mean, I'm only at page 198 right now out of 1,244, and for some reason, I thought I was gonna be able to get this book done by tomorrow. That is definitely not going to happen, but it is very, very entertaining, and I know I said I was like avoiding it because I was so scared of it, but I highly recommend it. I love this series. It is such a good series that needs so much more hype. Hello, y'all. 
I have been reading for an hour and a half. I have gotten chapter 20, page 284, so I'm almost at 100 pages from where we started. And I remember when I said that this book didn't hurt as much. I take it back. I take it back. But I have my wine now, so. Um, it is only though 10.30, so we're not gonna stop here. Gonna keep going for a little bit longer. I'm basically gonna keep reading until I get tired. I have nothing else to do for the rest of my night. One thing I will say that I've liked so far though is, so with Zodiac Academy, there is a prequel series to it, and the way that I read it is that I read the first three books of Zodiac, and then I went back and read the couple of books of the prequel series. And some of the characters have been showing up within the last couple of books of Zodiac, primarily Gabriel, but we are now also seeing POV chapters from some of the other characters, which I love because Leon Knight was one of my favorite characters in the Ruthless Boys series, and I just read a whole chapter from his point of view, so love to see him back. He is so funny, and I'm hoping that we get some more chapters from the different guys of that series, so I will keep you updated on that. Good morning guys. I don't think I ever gave an update last night, but I ended up reading for two hours and 35 minutes. I read from pages 159 to page 345, so quite a bit of pages yesterday. Um, today we came out by the pool because it is somewhat of a nice day out here. Uh, likelihood is it's gonna start raining later, but for right now it's nice and it's super quiet. No one's here, so we're just gonna read out by the pool. Still very much on Zodiac Academy. It has me fully hooked, but I am going to be reading this book for quite a while because I think I've mentioned it a couple times. There are a little over 1,200 pages in this book and I'm only on page 345. I think my goal for today is to read for another two to three hours at least between like now and later tonight, but I will let you guys know where I end up. Hello you guys, our week of reading together has sadly come to an end. It is the next day, but I wanted to give you guys the final update of how our week together went. So last night I ended up reading two hours and 17 minutes of Zodiac Academy. I got to page 474 of the book, so surprise, surprise, we did not finish her like we hoped we would, but I was probably a bit too optimistic with how much I thought I could read of this book because it is a little over 1,200 pages, but still 474 pages in, let's see, what day did I start this book? Four days? That's not too bad. I'm, I'm still proud of that, but I'm going to tally up our totals for the week and then I will let you guys know because... I think I read a pretty good amount last week. I've definitely read more in the past, but it was a busy week for me, so I'm still very proud of all that we read. So give me one sec, I'm gonna tally it all up, and then I will let you guys know. All right, I just did the math, and I'm actually really, really proud of myself. So we finished two full books, got through a little over 400 pages of a third book, for a total of 1,058 pages. And as far as hours go, we read 14 hours and 50 minutes in total throughout the week, which is honestly not to toot my own horn, but a little impressive if I do say so myself. For someone that works a full-time job, was focusing a lot on content last week, I was editing videos, 14 hours, almost 15 hours of pure reading is quite a bit and like I said I have definitely read more than that in prior weeks so it's crazy when I look at all the numbers and see how much we did together but it was a good week we had two really good books one not so great book but that's okay it happens and now I am just going to finish Zodiac Academy I'll probably do some sort of review on this eventually the book hurts I've been reading a little bit more of it today <laughs> our characters are in the trenches and I've been through now eight books of the this series so I care about these characters but still highly recommend it don't don't be put off by the fact that I'm in pain but anyways thank you guys so much for watching if you made it this far into the video please like comment subscribe do all the things and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys